This is the story of how Thor got his hammer back. When it comes to the ancient gods worshipped by the Norse, few are as tough and manly as Thor, god of thunder, one of Odin's greatest warriors and friend of mankind who defends us by slaying the Jotnar, or ice giants. Thor slays ice giants in many myths, and this one is no different. Well, except for the fact that this time he does so while wearing a wedding dress. So how does this manly brute of a god end up cross-dressing? Let's find out in today's story. Everyone knows that Thor and his beloved hammer, Mjolnir, are inseparable. Indeed, the great god of thunder even sleeps with the mighty weapon by his bedside. One night, while Thor was sound asleep and snoring the night away, an ice giant managed to sneak into his bedroom and steal Mjolnir away, somehow, without Thor even knowing. This was no ordinary ice giant, however. No, this was the work of Thrym, king of the ice giants. At first, when Thor awoke, he had no idea what happened to his hammer, and so threw a tantrum that shook the earth and scared away the sun. Asgard was in a panic. The gods knew that Mjolnir was the great weapon that, in Thor's hands, struck fear into the hearts of their enemies. Surely, if knowledge got out that it was missing, Asgard would be attacked on all sides. Loki, who himself was half-ice giant, knew that the giants feared this weapon most, and so, likely, they had stolen it away. Loki borrowed Freya's feathered cloak that gave its user flight and flew all the way to Jotunheim, where Thrym kept his court. Loki approached the Jotnar king and asked him if he knew what had happened to Thor's hammer. Thrym replied that it was he who had stolen it and that he would only return it on one condition, that he be married to the lovely goddess Freya. Loki flew back to Asgard and delivered the news, and naturally Freya protested. As she was the ferocious queen of the Valkyries, no one objected to her refusal. Loki, however, knew that the Jotnar were quite stupid, and he was sure a scheme could be devised to fool them and get Thor's hammer back. The wise god Heimdall proposed that Thor be dressed up in a bridal gown and presented to Thrym as his new bride, Freya, and that Loki accompany him, disguised as her bridesmaid. Thor was confused. How could his brutish, muscly physique pass for the curvy and feminine Freya? But clearly Thor had no idea just how dumb the ice giants were. And regardless, Thor in his wedding dress was brought to the court of King Thrym. The ice giant king arranged for a great feast of meat and ale, and remained somehow fooled by Thor's disguise even after Thor ate almost all of the food himself. Thrym was amazed by Freya's appetite, to which Loki replied that the nervous bride ate so because she had not eaten for eight whole days beforehand. Thrym then went to kiss his new bride, but was startled when he lifted the veil to see Thor's piercing red eyes full of rage. Loki explained that Freya's eyes were so red because, in her excitement for the wedding, she had not slept for eight whole nights. Finally, Thrym had brought out Mjolnir and asked for it to be placed on Freya's lap so that their marriage could be blessed. Once that hammer was on Thor's lap, he arose from the table and slew King Thrym and every single ice giant there. He and Loki then returned to Asgard with Mjolnir in tow. Thanks for watching. To support our channel and learn more about the myths and legends that inspire us, please like this video and subscribe.